back when I was a kid and I got a computer and I had internet no one actually told me about torrents no one did and if I had known I most certainly would have known the world of Linux 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 whatever is so this is a video dedicated to the people who should know how torrent works this is not an educational course you can go figure out what's out there what's not out there this is more of a user's course i mean how do you download torrent you do not need to know the workings of everything it's however beneficial so yeah torrents are not like your normal downloads you can't just go to a website click on something and it says it starts downloading that is not torrent okay if someone says that it is torrent they are going to scam you or they are going to show you a bunch of facts stay away from them the normal torrent works in two ways either you have to have a torrent file or a magnet link okay you know it's better if you see it okay so the recommended client for windows is Qubit torrent. It is open source, it is free, there are no ads, there is nothing you have to be worried about with this. You just download the 32 or 64 bit installer, it's also on Mac OS, it's also on Linux, and if you just add a developer you want to look into it, you can go to DGZ. Do not use Mu torrent, do not use BitTorrent, do not use Views. We use at E, do not use any other torrents. I will give you the reason. New torrent, pit torrent, same thing, same company. They have been known to put malwares, not malwares, uh, miners on your computer that would run in the background and mine bitcoins for them. So, new torrent, bit torrent, not recommended. Views, if you'll start using it, it's way too complex. It's very complex and you just want to download torrents man okay so the first torrent that most people like would like to download is kali kali linux it is a version of linux and it's pretty good actually i cracked the neighbor's wi-fi on this took me about one minute 432 and 1234 <laughs> don't choose your passwords as numbers so yeah so if i go to any installer website and you see this and notice what comes up in the left hand corner here if you see it says uh, cd kali la, 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 and in the last it says dot iso it's an iso file it's a cd file that you download it's a whole two and a how much is this 2.9 gb file if i click it you see the download has started and but if you go to the torrent okay there are two ways of downloading torrent this is the first way this is you just download a torrent file these are relatively small file a few hundred kbs at max maybe 20 30 kb okay so you get the file and you open this file with qubit torrent so if you have installed qubit torrent what will happen is it will automatically set it will automatically be the default program for your torrent files so if i click on the torrent it will open up in Qubit torrent. The good thing about the there are advantages of downloading stuffs via torrent. Game companies have been known to push their patches out via torrent torrent so that they are downloaded quickly. So what happens is if I start download, and let me just give you a brief overview. Seeds are the people, seeders are the people who already have downloaded the file and they are just uploading it for you this file is not on a server on one person's computer it's distributed between a, everyone who is a seeder has the full copy everyone who is a peer is still downloading and uploading okay so if you are going to download a file make sure it has good enough seeders at least 10 more than 5 10 and the thing is it matters when the seeders are online when that person is alive, uh, awake and when he can upload the torrent okay so 
the point i am making is if a file has too few seeders a very little seeders and maybe they are not online it might take a lot of time for you to download because it depends on that human being okay so yeah i don't want to download it the advantages of using qubit torrent or a torrent line over downloading it directly via chrome you can immediately set the internet speed you see i can set the global limit to this i can also if i want set a timer so that when i am sleeping that is the only time the torrents are being downloaded okay you do not need to go in every part of this uh, there is one thing i want you to check out and that is that is these locations okay so let's say you have an external hard disk and you do not want to download in your system and then transfer it to that if you can keep it plugged in it's best to use that location as your primary download location okay that is the only thing that you really have to worry about it has a lot of things okay there you must if you like and um, you are new to this i will surely sh tell you to dig into everything okay knowledge is always good so that was the torrent file okay this is a torrent file let me show you so yeah if you see it's a torrent file it ends with a torrent and it's hardly 234k but it gives you the location of where people are so that you can download the file let me give you another example linux mint is easy to get into a linux uh, distro distribution so as you have windows and apple has ios just like that windows has uh, linux has many distribution and linux mint is the version that comes with pre-installed vlc and all the drivers so you do not have to worry a bit a lot about those so yeah you can go into mirrors downloading these are actual location where the files are stored or you can just go to download via the torrent it's the same story here it gets downloaded you can start the download you can if you are downloading a movie you can select download in sequential order and what it will do it will start downloading the first part of the movie first so this will help you because you can i mean start watching the movie right away i'm not going to do it right now okay moving ahead torrent is legal the content you might download from it who knows torrenting is not bad you are doing no crimes if you are downloading a torrent what you download from the torrent that might be a bit uh, uh, you know questionable at best okay so this is legit torrents and i'm not sure what i will find here oh, yeah. oh this is the open source movie every you know mx player's uh, play store page uh, it has this movie big bad movie movie mistakes and now i want to watch it <laughs> i want to see what's in movie mistakes so yeah let's say oh my god let's say i go here and where is the download position there is the download and if i click on this yeah it's a torrent i click on it and oh my god uh, so yeah one more thing with qubit torrent i do not need to download everything if it's in a part file you can download let's say fnf i actually want to know the actually do not want to know anything i just wanted to show you yeah so the other thing is uh, yeah I'm, I'm not able to find how the download link works in there the other is linux tracker uh, so if you are into development and you need to know what versions of the linux are out there what is not out there and with the torrent link obviously you can go here and you can download torrents the other one the main one that i want to talk to you about is internet archive internet archive has a lot of content on there and if you uh, yeah so 
as i was saying internet archive has a lot of content and i'm not going to scroll now i already scrolled down and i had to cut that part out okay so it has a lot of content and there is something that might interest you uh, if you search champak jogo and people who are from india might remember this a 20 rupees a very cheap comics that used to come with jogo discs i certainly remember it i mean the amount of hours i played <laughs> dress up <laughs> and painting okay uh, there were a few good games there so yeah if you go to start downloading the iso file might take a lot of time but if you download the torrent and you click on it you can just start downloading it i do not need to download it because i already have it it's a pretty good thing yeah so what i couldn't find and maybe i will there are some uh, torrents that are magnet files okay so what will happen is uh, the link will start with magnet m-a-g-n-a-t and instead of downloading a torrent file you will get a magnet link okay it, it will start something like this magnet okay uh, wait i can show you i can actually show you so if i download the if i uh, i have already downloaded this and if i if where is the magnet share magnet share magnet share magnet copy magnet link yeah you see there i have a magnet link and this is the magnet link for that file so uh, many times you will see a magnet a uh, colon question mark xt equal to and it contains the location of all the persons who have this torrent uh, before moving ahead uh, if you are on android a libri torrent libra torrent or libri Libra, I think it's Libra. Libra Torrent is the open source option. That is the recommended one. It has no ads. It is best. I have been using it quite a while. Do not go for Mute Torrent. Do not go for Qubit Torrent. The amount of ad you will see on it is enough to make you go crazy. On a completely unrelated note, I want to talk about. Yeah. Uh, so I was talking about VPN there are websites that your country has blocked for whatever reasons it's mostly political they say it's not political but it's political so before your prime minister ruined aliexpress for me i used to go on aliexpress and i used to order a bunch of stuff from there mainly because they were cheaper and they were good quality products now if i however try to go to aliexpress i can't I can't check my order history. I can't talk to my sellers and what not. What to do? Move to China? No. Uh, VPN Chrome extension. Just search for VPN Chrome extension. There are many Chrome extensions. Uh, experiment it out. Try it out. My personal recommendation is VWPN Chrome extension. Simply because it has not failed me. It is free. It has not failed me. It works most all of the time basically okay so this is the free vpn for chrome once you add on chrome you it gets installed and after it gets installed you click on it you select a location you want and you click ok i know you are smart enough you can figure that out okay now let me show you yeah so this is aliexpress if i open aliexpress.com i can see it and maybe my login is still here and I can also show you what I ordered, I used to order. Uh, hold on a second. 